Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. According to a recent announcement by Microsoft, there are going to be some new changes and developments taking place in the Windows 11 Insider program. And one of the reasons for this is that Microsoft says that there are a lot more users who are trying out pre-released test builds and versions of Windows 11 than there are currently that of Windows 10. So in the future, they are going to be focusing on trying out new and more experimental features and services in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now, if we just head over to that announcement, what's coming for the Windows Insider program in 2022, which was posted on the 3rd of February. Yeah, we can just take a look at some of these changes and, and highlights where Microsoft says to make the most out of your Insider experience, you should think of Dev and Beta channels as parallel active development branches but previewing different things. And then the first point regarding the dev channel, Microsoft says the dev channel will be for long lead work from our engineers with features and experiences that may never get released as we try out different concepts and get feedback. It is important to remember that the builds released to the dev channel should not be seen as matched to any specific release of Windows and the features included may change over time be removed or replaced in insider builds or may never be released beyond Windows insiders to general customers. And this is, um, a little bit of this is currently going on in the insider program at present anyway. And then the second point, Microsoft goes on to say, the beta channel will be previewing experiences that are closer to what we will ship to our general customers because the dev and beta channels represent parallel development paths from our engineers there may be cases where features and experiences show up in the beta channel first. Uh, the third point, Microsoft says, we will deliver updates to features and experiences in builds from the dev and beta channels by releasing feature, web and online service experience packs on top of these builds too. And I actually have posted a couple of videos on this topic previously if you'd like to go check them out on this channel. And then the fourth and final point, Microsoft says, the release preview channel remains the best spot for previewing what's coming to general customers soon. So this will be the closest to what actually rolls out to the stable version. And then there's also been a logo change to the Insider program. And Microsoft says also uh, in this announcement that insiders that are wanting to change from their current channel, as an example, dev to beta, they will be invited to make this change uh, in the near future. So that's more or less the changes and developments that are taking place now uh, in the Insider program for 2022, according to this um, announcement by Microsoft, which I will leave a link to down below if you'd like to go check this out more in depth. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.